everyone, this is Alex, the driving instructor from San San Driving School. In today's video, we'll be talking about what you need to know before going into your class 5 road test. So before we get started with the video, generally I get booked up at least two months in advance. Yes, that's weekdays and weekends. So please reach out to me as early as possible if you would like lessons from me. The best way to contact me is through text and I will reply as soon as I can. I will always give priority bookings to students who are subscribers to this channel. Thank you. So I want to start the video off by mentioning this is from my experience in the last eight years of teaching. I focus mainly at the Vancouver Point Grey, Burnaby Lougheed and Richmond Lansdowne locations. The following tips are from me teaching in these areas. What you can typically expect from your class 5 driving test. Well, you'll be going through 1 to 2 school zones. You'll be going through 1 to 2 playground zones. So be sure to check out my other videos on how you deal with school and playground zones. What kind of parking can you expect? Well, for parallel parking, generally it's 0 to 1 time. Pull over parking 2 to 3 times. Reverse stall parking once, and it'll either be on your left or right side. Check out the videos I made for these. Uh, links will be in the description below. For the pullover parking, again, it's two to three times. Uh, each time you'll be asked to do something different. So they can ask you to open your door. They can ask you to back up in a straight line, or they're just testing to see if you know it's uphill, or they're testing if you know it's downhill. Also, uh, the pre-trip check at the start of your road test. So make sure you get to know your vehicle. Make sure you know how to do the three-point turn, the two-point turn, and some locations will require you to drive through an alley. So max of 20. For most locations, you'll be expected to drive on the highway. Be sure you are proficient in entering and exiting the highways. For example, how fast you should go in the acceleration lane, how many shoulder checks should you do, how do you safely exit the highway. Don't worry, I did a video on this too. So make sure you go and watch that. Be sure to brush up on the following as well. Uh, Two-way stop procedure, four-way stop procedure, how to deal with traffic circles, right and left turns in small streets, right and left turns in main roads, and as well, how to deal with cul-de-sacs. After going through all this, does any of this make you nervous? Don't worry, I've made videos covering all of that. Be sure to check them out. Links will be in the description below. Do yourself a favor and watch all of them. Okay, so if you've made it this far in the video, then I will give you my top three tips for students. Your sign awareness, pedestrian awareness, and road marking awareness. If people come back and they fail, it's usually because they're lacking in one of these three uh, topics. So make sure you're proficient in that. Okay, that's it for now. Please subscribe, like this video, and comment below, and let me know what you would like to see more from this channel. Thank you. Bye now.